I am recording a demo of connecting Unleash to Auto DevOps. Part, what, five? Four, Six? five, yeah. Something like that. But this is the, the best out, part. Found, this one is going to work. I can feel it. I found out last time. Uh, well, last time when we were trying to redeploy, uh, there was just something up with the, the runner cluster and like the network wasn't working properly. So it was literally just bad luck. <laughs> um, but then I also found out that I dug into the Unleash feature flag client code, um, the, the stuff that runs on the, on the actual, on your application that you're deploying. And it kind of gives up on polling um, for the feature flags after a crazy short amount of time, like a minute. Um, so pretty much every time you tear this down and bring it all back up, you have to do some sort of a redeploy before uh, the app should be listening to the feature flag toggles. And so we are redeploying the app. Um, I know this test worked because as you can see in the back, uh, I fixed it so that the flag was on at some point. Um, but before uh, we can show the toggling of the flag, we have to wait for this deployment, which hopefully won't take too long. Um, and then we'll be able to turn on our test feature flag. Um, I also put a little bit of I, I I stuck a little bit of logging into the into our test app here just to make sure everything is looking correct. While we wait for it to deploy, I guess we can also check if the configure make sure the configuration is okay. And that has not changed. Yep, everything everything seems fine. Um, this this environment variable isn't the right one, but I never got the opportunity to figure out what it is. Uh, but it's essentially it'll match. This will match whatever your chosen uh, environment will be for the environment specs. Um, so because it's basically production for our case. Um, it should listen to the production flag over the all environments flag. How are we doing pipeline? Oh, it's going. This is so exciting. <laughs> it's gonna work, it's gonna work this time. This is the time. I don't know why. I don't know why uh, the Unleash client just like gives up so quickly. It should I, I bet there's a I bet there's a way to configure it configure it so it just continuously pulls forever and ever and ever. Um, but yeah, it gives up after like a minute, which is kind of sad, especially in this case where we're tearing things down and bringing things up all over again. Um, should probably turn to, maybe I can, I can make a, I can suggest a change or something where it, uh, does something like gives up after, or, uh, after a minute, it'll switch to like polling once an hour or something to see if the server comes back up. I don't know. Does that sound like a good idea? Etienne? Does that seem like a reasonable time frame? Code quality job always takes so long. I'm filling in now for product in the testing uh, stage. So 
I'll see what we can do about that. Uh, I think it's just, uh, it's kind of out of our hands because we use code climate, I think. Yeah, we use code climate to run stuff. I'm sure maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, I don't know where, where the slowdown is. But I'm sure we can find some way to speed it up. How has it been for you now, Andrew, that you've been uh, using Auto DevOps for what? A couple of weeks, a few weeks? It's been pretty good. Uh, I haven't had too much of an opportunity to really play around with having it yet, unfortunately. Um, I've been I've been waiting for some some stuff to get merged in before I can start integrating everything with the uh, my features. But the development experience otherwise has been very smooth with the uh, using the like QA tunnel and everything is super, super easy. Um, I can totally understand why that's not part of like the baseline um, entitlements, but it, it can be uh, pretty nice. Well, our production job is going. So now we're just waiting for the rollout of our image to the Kubernetes cluster. And as soon as that comes up, uh, it should start polling our feature flags again. And then we should be able to toggle them on and off. I think if we try to refresh this now, it should. Oh, <gasps> look at that. All right. You did that really quickly, and it was like an exciting moment. Production is rolled out. OK, so here the flag is off. And then I'm going to turn on for production. And if we refresh, it switches. Wow. Well done. <laughs> We can turn it off and turn it, we could turn it on for all environment or we'll turn it off again and just to prove that it switches back. It switches back here. And then if we turn it on for all environments and delete this, it should also turn on. What did you delete? Uh, so I deleted, um, we can add back in now. We can add this production production because that's the environment that's running. Um, and if it's, it'll listen to this because it's more specific. It'll listen to this spec over the all environments flag. So if we leave it like it is now, it, it should be off for production. There we go. Now let's do something fun. Git branch add to response. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I need the this guy. So now that we have this set up, you could uh, theoretically um, expand this out to like uh, setting up review apps and stuff like that to test out more. But um, it's kind of outside the scope of the very what was supposed to be the very mini demo. <laughs> um, 
but all of the all of the auto DevOps stuff will run for merge requests and things you make against your test target app, and you should have uh, review apps and things up and running. All well right. done. Well done. I'm stopping the recording. <laughs>